Hi, this is Don Samuels, and this is the Fifth Ward Weekly Update. And uh, we're here with four luminaries from the Park Board because I wanted you to find out about some of the incredible things the Park Board is doing for North Minneapolis and the Fifth Ward. The Park Board has become the friend of the Fifth Ward. And with us today are <laughs> Anita Tab, Anita Tab, Jane, Jane Miller, Miller, John Olson. John Olson. And uh, of course, John and Anita are on the park board, and Jane is a superintendent of the park board. And so, uh, Anita, you want to say anything? I just want to say hi to all my fifth ward residents in Harrison. Okay, and John? Just want to say hello and thanks for watching tonight. We're doing hard work, and we've got exciting projects coming up in the north side. And without their advocacy for Jane, uh, this would not be possible. Jane is empowered and uh, resourced to, to make the Fifth Ward a great place in terms of parks. And she's going to take it away. Take it away, Jane. Thanks, Don. Um, we're really excited at the Park Board to have uh, the River First Project, which started two years ago with the International Design Competition, where we received 55 proposals for redevelopment of the Mississippi River from the Stone Arch Bridge north to the city limits. And our focus has really been on community engagement and reconnecting, in particular, north and northeast Minneapolis residents to the river um, to uh, take the heritage of the Mississippi River, the industrial heritage, bridge it into redevelopment of the river and connecting people to the river. There are five major initiatives with River First. One, which is a trail system connecting from Farview Park down to the river and along the river, reconnecting, uh, the, creating a parkway system along both sides of the river to the north end, redevelopment of the Shear Lumber uh, Site, uh, connecting Gateway Park to the river, and also creating biohavens, floating islands on the river, so that it creates natural habitat on the river, uh, flyway zones for birds that actually fly f through uh, Minneapolis up to Canada and down south, um, but really creating park space and creating a, the kind of environment along the Mississippi River that we have in other sections of the city of Minneapolis. So the Park Board uh, this spring actually ap approved the concept plan for River First, which includes those five initiatives as the initial starting points for the River First project, which is really a 20, 25 year plan for redevelopment of the river along uh, the Mississippi from the Stone Arch Bridge North. So, uh, Jane, thank you so much for uh, all you put together. I, think, I guess this was a national effort to get these designers. Absolutely. And, and we ended up with a, a, a nation uh, or a national quality of those. Solutions. We actually did. We actually had uh, 15 different proposals. Uh, 55 proposals from 15 different countries of each continent of the world was represented. So it really, the, the entire country from a landscape architecture perspective has been watching what we're doing in terms of redeveloping this section of the Mississippi. Great. So we're looking forward to those great improvements. Absolutely. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again next week when we do part two of our conversation with Jane. Thank you. Thank you, Jane.